At first glance, it just looks like a big bronze P in the middle of Purdue University's campus, but it's more than that, a lot more. Let's see what 12 overachieving students, the dean of students, a colonel named Hi Ho, and two unassuming artists from a small Indiana town set out to do in 12 short months on this segment of Boiler Bites. The Iron Key uh, Student Leadership Honorary was actually started in 1910 here at Purdue University. The purpose of the Iron Key class is to recognize some of the most outstanding student leaders on campus and allow them an opportunity to come together and to give something back to the university and the student body. We went through a brainstorming session to figure out what we wanted to do and then once we kind of defined our project, um, we just kind of hit the ground running and how to work through the challenges and through some of the turbulent times. I think there were probably two, two things that were most challenging. Uh, the first was getting approval for the project and the second would be fundraising. And it was challenging because they both kind of happened, they needed to happen simultaneously. One year to put this, together a statue of this magnitude was just um, beyond what we thought we could actually do. Then getting the, the space on campus, finding where we wanted to put it. Our original location was next to the Bell Tower or out on Memorial Mall. The university didn't really want that, uh, so compromising on where it was going to be. Believe me, I had my doubts about this project coming together in the time that, that they had. Uh, I was concerned about the funding, I was concerned about the processes that we have to go through. I was concerned that, that uh, you know, where do we find somebody who's going to build this thing for us? When the students came in and they shared their idea, um, it, it still, it kind of moved me still. Uh, they were so passionate about what they wanted to do and it's such an, an honorable um, project that Rick and I just really felt that we wanted to be involved and you know be able to see their dream come true. When our group first met Rick and Rita, um, they had already met with Colonel Silver and so he had already relayed to them uh, kind of what our goal and what our desire was for the project and they were very passionate, very enthusiastic. The Hadleys are absolutely incredible people. Uh, I think we were really floored by their enthusiasm and their drive for the project. Plus, they donated all their labor to the project. So had they not done that, there's no way we could have financially afforded it. The dedication was fabulous, and actually it's probably one of the highlights of my career and my life. I almost feel like this possibly could be a little bit of my magnum opus. The unfinished block P represents the fact that uh, no one is ever really finished. If, you know, we're here to learn and uh, learning becomes a lifelong endeavor. The unfinished black pea means a lot to me because I, I'm a living example of what it is trying to depict. I, I went to Purdue University. I was an ROTC cadet here and so I got my foundation at Purdue University and I never lost sight of that. I'm really proud that we have created a symbol at Purdue that recognizes the, the student experience and then also have created an endowment that will be able to create replicas to give to families of students who passed away because that means that Purdue University cares about those students. The whole point of the project was to show that we are always going to be a part of Purdue. And my Purdue experience, and I know the other members of our class would agree, has been the greatest experience in my life so far, and it was so hard to leave. And so seeing this statue on campus is this physical reminder to me that I am always going to be a part of Purdue, and Purdue is always going to be a part of me.